Happy Monday, Missouri. Today is a weather alert day for two rounds of storms. We had one come through this morning, and that's brought us a list of measurable rainfall reports uh, of at least uh, two tenths of an inch. That's what we're looking at here. We had a lot of folks that maybe got a little bit less than that, and we're hoping that some actually got more than that. We've seen some radar estimates uh, as much as an inch to an inch and a half, and we've yet to see that come through on actual community reports. And that's what you're looking at here is a list of rain gauge reports Folks have put their eyes to rain in their rain gauge. This is not radar estimates. So uh, this is going to be what we call ground truth, and it looks like four tenths, at least at 7 a.m. here, is the report to beat. We've got a cold front towards the north and the west. That's going to head our way later on today. There's going to be a window, though, between the rain that's left already this morning here at 7 a.m. and that cold front, and that's the window that we're eyeing for more redevelopment of storms. Now, it's likely... For most of us, it doesn't happen, but we do have a weather alert day in effect for the few of us that it does happen for. Uh, take a look here at Future Trek. Through noon, we're all dry, a few fair weather clouds with highs in the mid 70s. We're going to be warm again today, even with this cold front passing through. But take a look here at five o'clock, just near and out ahead of this cold front. That's where we expect more storms to fire. That's going to be really largely south of uh, Highway 50. I don't expect much activity to the north of that. It's possible we get a storm to develop, but if it does happen, it's not likely as strong as it is to the south, near the Lake of the Ozarks, Osage Beach, Fort Leonard Wood, Rolla, Owensville, Lynn, even in that window. Uh, that's 5 to 7 o'clock, and then things start to pass off towards the south and the east, and then we're all behind that cold front. Now, tomorrow, things look cooler and less humid behind the cold front with a high just near 80. Most of us are dry. We've got a slim chance Tuesday night that maybe a few showers clip Sedalia, Warsaw area, Pettis and Benton County, but really most of us are dry on Tuesday, and then we'll see that again for the most part on Wednesday with the areas in the far west near Highway 65 maybe being the focus for more rain. Now today we're back to the severe risk. This is where the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted the level two out of five risk. This may evolve throughout the day, especially as later runs are really focusing on areas south of I-70 and south of really Highway 50. And that's where I'm going to place our forecast here for the best chance for rainfall. It's a medium chance for isolated storms. Those storms that develop anything that develops would have the potential for hail and damaging winds. Again, south of US 50 is the best chance for this. Lake of the Ozarks, Vienna, and Rolla all in that window. We really don't expect much in the way of the of a tornado risk. It's technically possible, but it's looking unlikely. Over the next seven days, we shift our focus more towards just rainfall. There are no strong signs of severe weather over the next seven days. It doesn't mean it won't happen. This is kind of a highly uncertain forecast going forward with our pattern. We know it looks wet, though, and that's where it looks like we could see one to two inches of rain in mid-Missouri with those purples being the better chance of two inches. So Wednesday, Thursday, you're going to see a change in the rain forecast. It jumps from a 20% to a 50%. This is where we start to line up uh, better, better moisture, better warmth in the atmosphere. This is where our rain chances really start to grow a little bit, largely moisture. That's what moves in Thursday into Friday and it really doesn't leave. And so what we're looking for is just kind of any kind of wave to kind of trip up uh, those ingredients and kind of uh, locally bump our chance for rain. So really Thursday to Saturday, that's the best chance at the point at this point in the forecast uh, for widespread rain. So we do have rain on the way, but also a lot of warmth as well. Temperatures in the 80s throughout the next seven days.